Hey there, sign of Libra. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading. So thanks for joining me. As always, I like to ask your spirit guides, your angels to join us. Bless this reading and give us messages as clear and concise as can be for Libra. Sign of Libra. And we're using the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. All right, just a little bit like this. Uh-oh, that one really wants to come out. <laughs> and then we're going to cut, and then we'll see what card that is really wanting to come out. On the bottom, I have the Eight of Swords. More taking on more responsibilities here. The Chariot. Maybe there's success in taking on more responsibilities. Sometimes we feel trapped by those responsibilities. Um, it's all perspective and how you're looking at it. The chariot is here um, bringing lots of things in this card with the, you know, the ladybug and everything else. Let me go ahead and pull out your cards. Ten of Wands, Three of Cups in the reverse. Past is Nine of Wands in the reverse now moment five of swords in the reverse which is good eight of eight of coins <laughs> can i talk eight of coins um or pentacles ace of wands in the reverse and page of swords upright the hangman in reverse and the five of cups five five huge changes We're just going to have to clarify to see really what's going on here because um, we have, I have a lot of, um, I have a lot of being kind of stressed out energy, right? I'm seeing a lot of that, but there's also something um, for sure going on here with these friends or I'll say maybe so-called friends. Um, the chariot is, is a win. It's a victory. It's maybe a vacation or getting away from something or someone king of swords in the reverse, something that's out of your control. It may be regarding driving or, um, or travel. The 10 of wands is the challenge. So lightening, lightening up your load, not having to do it all. Um, there's a complete rebirth here. Somebody that really betrayed you with this three of cups. Somebody that really let you down in your group. Um, the ten of swords is here in the reverse. And the eight of swords now is in reverse here on the bottom. So there's a rebirth. There's a complete walking away from something that was not. It was out of your control here. Um but now you're super aware of what's going on. I see, I'm being drawn to the B, um, you know, really good results, having really good results. The ladybug being extremely lucky or fortunate. The nine of wands in reverse, withdrawing your energy from something, from the two of cups, from a partnership um, that just was not working. This is, I mean, it is what it feels like to me. Of course, there could also be like deciding that you don't want to work with a certain company or something like that. It can, it can be something like that too. It doesn't always have to be um, romantic about love. So there we go. Two of Cups in the reverse. Um, a decisions to a decision choices. Not necessarily a decision, a choice is available to you. You don't want to argue. Perhaps it's with this person from the past that we withdrew our energy from. Okay, what is the Five of Swords in the Reverse about? Committed, committed partner, the committed male energy. It doesn't have to be a male sex, but the masculine energy, King of Pentacles which is doing really good. So it's a victory in a business or family finance, something like that. 
it's like this stuff that happened outside of you, this betrayal was out of your control. Handling it is what you did, though. And I think you put, you like gave it your all here. Um, the Five of Swords not wanting to fight, but this, this is still remaining like Taurus energy, the committed energy here. This could have been uh, needing to finalize a divorce here for some with the Ten of Swords, like something maybe needing to be finalized. The Eight of Coins, though, here brings in the energy of working something out. So something that's working, getting really good at a skill or what it is that you do. Look, there's the Hierophant coming in. So this commitment or Taurus energy again. Um, yeah, uh, doing something, maybe even a traditional way. It doesn't really have to be, but I'm noticing that's a five, five, five. So we have five, 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 big, big changes coming up. Whatever you remained committed to in your work, whatever you kept on, um, learning and studying up on with the page of swords here, gathering your information, getting better at what you do. This is representing accumulation and the chariot means it's really picking up right now and starting to do really good. You had some a few personal issues uh, that gave you some problems, uh, maybe affecting your creativity. But otherwise, if you, if you remain committed to this work aspect, then everything was fine. Um, the Ace of Wands in reverse is, is saying you're, you're still dealing with with this per either person from the past or this hard heartbreak situation here. Let's um, let's get another card for this. Could be feeling like uh, I have a blank canvas, but I don't know what to put on it yet. Yeah, and it may be because of this, because the Page of Wands is bringing in good news, and um, it's just kind of like on its way usually when that card comes up. So you're feeling really good news, perhaps about a past commitment that's coming back. It's, it's just how, how you want it. Like I say, you're ga gaining more information and more knowledge, always hearing things from different people. Other people might be looking at you. You might be looking at them. The hanged man in reverse is like, it's time. It's time to get down. It's time to get either back into the swing of things. There's the queen of pentacle energy as a challenge. Um, so this could be somebody that was like interfering with all of this mess. It could be a Capricorn. Um, this could be Aquarius energy. Or it's you've done a lot of waiting and sacrificing to live exactly how you want. And now that you're picking up momentum and doing better than you can, you can start living more like you want. So there's always a little bit of disappointment or regret here, but look, the Wheel of Fortune is coming in. The Fates card tying the Queen of Pentacles to the Hierophant. Something that happened in commitment that was really disappointing in some, one of your commitments here is it was actually fated to happen. Um, and they're saying you're going to get exactly what you put in out. You're going to get more. You're even going to get a gift from the universe here. Something really, really exciting and loving. Um, addition to a family, a new career. This is your uh, your win. This is a new cycle. So away from any heartache or sadness or pain, something much better. And that's what I've got for you guys. Thanks. Thanks so much, Libras. Bye.